The Chancellor family is one of the most happening clans on YNR where drama never ends. Appearing on the soap since its inception days, this family has gone on to become a staple part of the show while unexpectedly growing in size year after year. You may know the family started with Philip Chancellor II and his wife Catherine K. Chancellor. They never had a child together but they sure did expand the family tree with other partners. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. To begin with, let's see what a family K created. Catherine was married to Philip Chancellor II from the day she made her debut on YNR. However, her backstory revealed that she was married to a man named Gary Reynolds in the past. Gary never appeared on screen as he was already dead, but his son Brock Reynolds had a pretty good run on YNR. Brock had a daughter, Mackenzie Browning, from his affair with a woman named Amanda Browning whom he had met in India. In 2009, it was revealed that Catherine had one more son born from an extramarital affair while she was still married to her first husband. Apparently, Kay had an affair with Judge Arthur Hendricks, Gary's best friend while Gary was working in Europe. The affair resulted in a baby whom she gave up for adoption right after birth because she knew that her marriage would be doomed if Gary ever found out about her infidelity. As it happens, Kay's illegitimate child was born on the same day as Jill Foster. So for a few years, they believed they were mother and daughter. It was finally revealed that the baby Jill had given up for adoption was Tucker McCall, the founder of multi-billion dollar company Tucker McCall Unlimited. He was on YNR for about four years during which he romanced women like Sharon Collins, Jill Fenmore, Genevieve Atkinson and even married Ashley Abbott. In a shocking turn of events, Devon Hamilton turned out to be the biological son of Tucker who was born to his former lover Yolanda Hamilton. Last year, Devon contributed as a sperm donor to give Abby a baby, who is now a Chancellor heir. The baby is named Dominic Newman Abbott Winters Chancellor. So that's Catherine's side of family tree for you. Now let's take a look at Philip's side. While Philip was married to Catherine, he fell for his wife's confidant, Jill Foster. Catherine tried to keep them apart, but it was too late. Jill got pregnant and Philip asked for a divorce, which Kay agreed to. However, before Philip and Jill united, he got in a car wreck while drunk Kay had been driving. Philip married Jill on his deathbed and died shortly. Later, Jill gave birth to their son and named him Philip Chancellor III. Philip III grew up in boarding school. When he returned to Genoa City as a teenager, he grew close to Catherine. Meanwhile, he became romantically involved with Christine Blair as well as Nina Webster. Philip planned on marrying Christine, but then Nina became pregnant with his child and eventually gave birth to Philip Chancellor IV, aka Chance Chancellor. Chance got married to Abby in late 2020, following which they planned on having a baby. However, medical tests showed that neither of them could have a baby naturally. Chance then left on a secret mission while Abby carried out surrogacy to create a pseudo-chancellor. Abby ultimately had a baby whom she named Dominic, the same baby that Kay's grandson Devon helped make. That's all about the Chancellor family. Before heading out, you may like to check out what happened to all four Philip Chancellors on the show. Chance recently returned home from his mission. But where is his father, Philip Chancellor III? Click on the link at the end of this video for an answer. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.